In Elizabeth City, North Carolina, a state of emergency has been declared after Andrew Brown Jr. was fatally shot by police last Wednesday while being served a warrant on felony drug charges. Seven officers have been placed on paid administrative leave. NBC News correspondent Kathy Park joins us from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Kathy, the family attorney, saying that this hour the body cam video has still not been seen due to redactions being made. And I think you've got uh, you've got him there with you. Andrea, that is right. Um, the family members uh, of Andrew Brown Jr. and the attorneys were supposed to meet with the sheriff's office at 1130 today. Um, but right now we're kind of in this holding pattern. I want to bring in attorney Ben Crump, who is representing the family right now. I, I think the big question is, here we are, um, and <clears throat> you were anticipating the release of the body camera footage to family members. But, but what's happened? Uh, we don't completely understand why we're not watching the video with our clients now. Me and my co-counselors were informed uh, about verbally and in writing that we will be able to see the video uh, with the immediate family members at 1130. Uh, then we got notified about an hour beforehand that, well, they want to redact the video. And we said, hold on. Why are you redacting the video? The family has a right to see the video. And so it's this delay tactic because apparently there is something so damning on that video that they continue to delay, delay, delay. And as the crowds chanted, they don't need to say any more. Just show the video. The truth is going to come out. A lie cannot live. Andrew Brown was unjustifiably killed Yet again, an unarmed black man being unjustly killed in America. Can we go just one week without the police killing a black person unjustifiably? So have you been able to get in touch with the sheriff directly? Do we know if it's going to be released today? Will it be a couple of hours? Will it be days that no, we're, we're going to we, be out here? We've been told we're going to be able to see the video very soon today. There's doing their redactions for whatever reason. That is it's very troubling because when you really think about what's going on, they released a warrant with Andrew Brown saying everything about him assassinating his character, but Andrew Brown didn't kill anybody. The people who killed Andrew Brown, they want to protect their identity and protect their rap sheet, but they want to blast Andrew Brown rap sheet out there because that's the playbook. They try to assassinate the character of black people once they kill us because they want to say they're not cons uh, worthy of your consideration, America, where well, we're here to proclaim our brothers and sisters who they kill are worthy of consideration, respect, and humanity. And, you know, this is uh, day five since the shooting. Quickly, you know, how, how is the family doing at this hour? Obviously, they're devastated. They, they want answers. Why would you shoot a man in the back going away from you? That's one of the most cowardly things a person can do. And yet it happens over and over again to black people, especially black men in America. Uh, you know, they don't shoot white men in the back, but shooting black men in the back is almost like a cliche. And I don't know why it is the most dangerous thing to police for a black man to run away from you. You have young white men who are confirmed mass murderers. Whether you're talking about the Parkland shooter, they took him alive. Whether you're talking about the uh, killer from the Asian spot in Atlanta, they took him alive. Dylan Roof, they took him alive after they were confirmed mass murderers. But a black man runs from you and you have to use deadly force? There's two justice systems in America, apparently. One for white America and another for black America. And we need to have equal justice for the United States of America.